Hey guys, it's Billy. I got a lot of questions about how I make my supports for my dice for printing resin masters on my Alugo Mars. And essentially what I did was I created my dice using OpenSCAD using the plugin that we have available here on the Facebook forums. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import them into Fusion 360. To do that, you go to Insert and then select Mesh, find the dice you want to work with, and it might look a little distorted and weird, that's fine. And then I just make sure I move it to the ground, center it, and then click OK. So now we have our dice here. However, it is mesh, not what we want. We want it as an actual body. And to do that, we have to right-click Document Settings, and then go to Do Not Capture Design History. Then click Continue. Now when we right-click our mesh under Bodies, we can go to Convert Mesh to B rep. Now you can just click OK and sometimes you'll get a warning here saying that it is too many faces. This one's not giving me that error message but I'm going to show you how to fix that now. To fix that before you right click and go to mesh to B rep you can go to mesh here at the top and then go to reduce and then you could reduce the density using this slider which will essentially give you less triangles. Um, for my Testing 0 0.4 on a D20 is usually sufficient. Um, and now you can go to Mesh to B Rep, click OK, click OK again. And it might take a little bit because there's a lot of calculations going on. But you'll have your nice and clean dice here, or die, if we want to be those people. Um, the next thing is we want it so we're working with a, an angle facing down. This isn't really a pretty method, but it's what I do to do it. And I'm going to go to Create Sketch. I'm going to hide the, the dice for now. I'm going to select uh, the left plane. And I'm just going to make a straight up and down line. And then click Finish Sketch. I'm going to enable my dice so I can see it again. And now I'm going to align, going to Modify, Align. I'm going to click a corner and then click the corner of that and then click OK. It's going to take a few seconds to think. All right, now I'm going to align myself on the left by clicking left here. I'm going to push M to move. I'm going to click the body. I'm going to click set pivot. I'm going to select the line. I'm going to click check. And now when I pivot this, it's rotating the dice. So I'm going to line it up. So this green line right here perfectly cuts through the dice, or at least as, as close as you could get it. It's probably not super important that it's 100% accurate, but I guess the closer the better. And then I'll click OK. Once you tend, it's going to take a little bit to think because there's a lot of triangles here. Now I'm going to go to the right, or just a different side, and you can see just because it was lined up on the, that side doesn't mean it is on this one. So I'm going to push M to move select the body, select my pivot point, click OK to accept it, and now I'm going to rotate so this one lines up. And there we go, that's pretty close. I'm going to click OK. It's going to load. And now if we spin through it, that line should be pretty even on all the sides, which it is. Uh, okay, this part's kind of optional, but I like doing it. So I'm going to add another sketch here. This time I'm going to draw a just a little square. I'm going to select it, push E to extrude. I'm going to select symmetric so it happens on both sides. I'm just going to make a little platform for underneath the die. And I'm going to bring that down. Just because as you're rotating here, you might get disoriented. And having that ground plane, I think, uh, just helps you keep yourself situated. But now that I have it, I'm going to select the bottom. I'm going to hide the ground plane. And this is where we're going to start. So here we have one line, another line, and another line, which seems to create like a Y. And what we want to do is we want to create the supports there. So to do that, I'm going to click Construct, and I'm going to select Plane at Angle. I'm going to select the line. And if you see, it creates this plane here. And what I'm going to want to do is rotate this so the plane, as you see, this uh, yellowish triangle is 
at a perfect angle where it's almost invisible to us, so it's completely adjacent with the angle we're working with. So you're going to watch me rotate this. I'm going to try to go slower here. Once again, there's no super clean way to do this. So that's pretty close at negative 32. Okay. So let's try. You could also type. I'm going to do negative, oops, 32.5. Point six, eight. No, so that's the wrong direction. So let's do negative thirty, one, two, thirty-three. So thirty-two point five. Mm, it's pretty close. We might just stick with negative thirty-two, and then click OK, and then we're going to do it again. Plane at angle click it. We're going to rotate again to try to get it to pretty much disappear as much as we can. So it should be pretty close to the other one. There we go, negative 32. And last but not least, we want one more. Right here. Oh, that one lined up perfectly. Look at that. We don't have to rotate that one at all. Click OK. And now if you look, kind of weird but we could start seeing where we want to draw our um, our little supports so I'm gonna go on the left side show my constructions see my planes and hide all of them but one so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna go to create sketch oops and then I'm gonna click oh wait let me try that again so I'm gonna go to create sketch and then click the plane there we go and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna draw on the die where I want the support so I like giving myself a little bit of a gap on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from here, go all the way up the side, and then I like doing, uh, oops, I did that backwards, 90 degrees, and then one inch, and click OK, and then go down here. Once again, I make sure it's 90 degrees. I line up with this dot that I made earlier here, which is right about. Uh, oops, wrong one. Right there. Complete my square. Click Finish Sketch. And now we should have a line extruding. I'm going to click it. I'm going to push E to extrude. I'm going to do symmetric. And I like using 0 0.4. And here it is. And then make sure it says New Body when you click OK. And now you should have your first support. So now we want to continue it so it touches that little square we made at the bottom. So I'm going to do create sketch again. I'm going to click one of the faces of the new body I created. And now I'm going to click from one of the corners. Make sure you're doing 90 degrees straight down. And then line up with the other corner. And then you want to do, oh, let's do it this way. Let's do 90 degrees straight down. And we could hide the floor plane, which is this one. And now we want to extrude this. Since the other one was 0 0.4 times 2, because we did um, on both sides, we have to do negative 0 0.8 to make that one solid piece. Make sure the operation is join and you're not joining with the actual dice itself. If you are, you can just turn the dice off and then click OK. And that is our first support complete. And if you look, you kind of have an idea of where we're going with this. So now I'm just going to try to quickly do the other ones with maybe a little bit less detail now. So plane 2, I'm going to click plane 2 to draw. I'm going to do my line from Let's do two up. All the way to the top. Like I said, one inch, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Line up. Click. Click. Extrude. Symmetric, 0 0.4. Make sure it's new body. Create. Click. Turn my floor on so I can see it. And then we're going to do 90 degrees into the floor. 
90 degrees into the floor, connect them, hide the floor, otherwise you'll cut through it when you're doing your extrude. And we'll do negative 0 0.8. We're going to join them. There they are. And now for my last plane, create sketch. I did two squares up, I think. Drag over. One inch. 90 degrees, one inch. Drag it down, 90 degrees. Line it up. Finish. Extrude. We're going to do symmetric, 0 0.4. Click OK. Draw a new sketch. I'm just going to turn the floor on. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Connect them. Finish. Hide the floor. E, negative 0 0.8. Click OK. And now we should have minus the floor. We don't need that. Our supports take its shape. Now, from my experimenting, these need to be connected. Otherwise, you get a spiral effect while they're drying, which will warp your edges. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we have the bottom selected. We're going to push C to create a circle. And we're going to click the bottom of one of these faces here. And then we're going to try to get to the dead center right here as close as we can. Draw a circle so you could just see it covers everything. And then zoom out a little. Now click your circle, making sure you get all of it. Push E to extrude. It might be a good idea to hide the dice at this moment. And now just drag up. And if you look, it looks like it's going to cut your objects because operation is set to cut. But what we want to do is click join. So now we kind of gave it like a like a propeller almost kind of look, like a Nerf football. Click OK. And now, as you can tell, because I was not measuring, it's crooked, which was semi on purpose. Because now I can just click new sketch. Sorry about my cat. He's very annoying. We're going to create a square. Just highlight everything like that. Click finish sketch. E extrude I'll do symmetric and just drag but now we want to leave the operation on cut click OK and now we have a perfectly flat nice looking support which should work for pretty much all your uh, what size dice was this I don't even remember uh, d12s so what you can do now is just go to save save this as d12 support and now as long as you know you line up the D12 when you bring it in, you can keep using these supports. Um, now to export it, what I'm going to do is they need to be connected. So I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to go to uh, solid and then combine. And it's going to take a little bit, but it's thinking. These dice have a lot of triangles on them when you convert them, so it tends to slow down uh, computers quite a bit. There we go. Click OK. And on the left side, you should now have one body. If you don't, they weren't close enough to connect. So to fix that, you select one of the objects, push M to move it, and now just move it up the littlest bit. So let's say 0 0.01. Well, actually, let's just do 0 0.02. Click OK. And now I'm going to combine them again. Now we just have one body. And if I turn it on and off, you can see it's one piece. So I'm going to go to Tools, Make. I'm going to select it. Make sure Send to 3D Print Utilities turned off. Click OK again. And I'm going to call this the D12. Click Save. Obviously, you can call it whatever you want. Then we're going to open up our lovely shitu box, as I like to call it, because I don't like it that much, but here it is. And I'm going to start a fresh one. I'm going to open my new D12 I just created. Rotate it 90 degrees. Go to support so it adds the raft. And that's it. It's ready to be printed. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.